As members of the monetary policy community, we would like to increase the official cash rate by 25 basis points from the current 3% to 3.25% at the monetary policy review in October. This is most likely less than some would have expected, as the last increase was by 50 basis points from 2.5% to 3%. However, the smaller increase reflects the future-focused nature of monetary policy rather than reacting to the current environment. Inflation is currently far outside of the target band of 1-3%, to sitting at 7.3% meaning an increase in the OCR is required to combat this. Increasing the OCR will increase interest rates, slowing down growth in the economy and decreasing inflation by improving both cost push and demand for inflation. The slowing of growth will also be conducive to bringing the economy back to maximum sustainable employment. Aggregate demand is determined by consumption spending, investment spending, government spending and net exports. Aggregate supply is determined by cost factors such as the cost pressures for producers and capacity constraints. As shown in the graph, AS has shifted back for a number of reasons, creating cost push inflation. Factors leading to this are constraints on capacity, a tight labour market, supply chain shortages and wage inflation. This is particularly worrying as wage inflation can push prices up, leading to a wage price inflation spiral. However, we believe this will improve in the future, with borders opening up after COVID-19 and international travel becoming less risky, immigrants are more able to come and work in New Zealand. And with new immigration regulations to target worker shortages, we expect the labour market to begin returning to the maximum sustainable employment, improving output capacity and wage inflation, which will decrease costs for businesses, meaning we expect to see AES shifting forward in the future. Also, business confidence is low, meaning businesses have built interest rate increases into the expectations making them wary of investment spending, which is needed to ensure future output capacity is not limited by lack of investment spending. This is why we have decided to increase the OCR by just 25 basis points, because many of the inflationary pressures on AES are short term and due to the low business confidence. Aggregate demand has shifted out for a number of reasons. Firstly, although we see consumer spending is increasing, we expect this to decrease in the future, and this is due to consumer confidence decreasing since 2020 because of inflationary expectations, household debt, increasing house prices, and increasing mortgage rates. The second component of aggregate demand is government spending. Government spending has been very high recently, and this is due to the government's COVID response, infrastructure programs, and uh, cost of payment li uh, living payments, which have all been inflationary. They are currently cutting spending to decrease their debt and return to a surplus, and it's shown in the graph that they would like the operating balance to return to a surplus after the gains and losses from in the 2024 and 2025 years. The second component of aggregate demand is investment spending. As stated earlier in the AES section, business confidence is quite low at the moment, meaning that there is currently and likely to be a future decrease in investment spending. Another reason why we can't expect aggregate demand to potentially decrease in the future, meaning a smaller increase in the OCR is required. So in terms of net exports, um, we see that the terms of trade is expected to have a modest decline. Um, this is mainly due to external factors such as lockdowns in China, as well as increasing interest rates in the US. Um, we will currently have a very strong dairy payout, and this is a result of the depreciation of, New, of the New Zealand dollar right now, um, which is really helping to maintain the terms of trade. Secondly, in terms of tourism, um, tourism used to be our um, main export owner pre-COVID. So if we see that the number of visitors is expected to surge after borders being reopened, this will definitely further increase our export receipts very significantly. And just to sum up, we have a couple main inflationary factors currently. Um, firstly, we have a very tight labour market. Um, this leads to like wage inflation and constraints on output, as stated before. Secondly, we have very high government spending as well as high level of consumer spending as well. And these both increase aggregate demand, causing demand for inflation. And lastly, we have a depreciating New Zealand dollar, which leads to increased export receipts and more expensive imports. And however, most of these factors are not long term, mainly short term, particularly the labour market as well as government spending. And we want to keep increasing the OCR until inflation is under control. But there is an opportunity right now to kind of pull back a little bit so that people can get, like, get used to it and manage with the increase in interest rates. We do have to be careful that we're not overreacting since the increases may be difficult for a bunch of households and businesses. And now with this decision, there is a few risks involved. Uh, firstly, is the inflationary expectations from businesses and consumers, as stated before. Secondly, if we aren't able to attract workers overseas to come into New Zealand, we'll continue to have supply side um, issues. And despite all these risks, increasing the OCR by 25 basis points from 3% to 3.25% in a monetary policy group in October would be the best choice.